deep shrooms and salt deposits. We have those. Man, kind of glad I was uh, growing these now. The light stick is awesome. Oh, we're totally going to make more of those then. Thank you. Can I have to scan these yet? This is our little grow area outside. Very handy to have one of these, by the way. That's our blood gel, deep shrooms, all the gel packs we could ever need, uh, creep vine, and creep vine cluster. So we get pretty much everything we need out here. Pretty awesome. Perfect. There we go. Yes, that's right. We have a grow bed. That's weird. Why did it do that when I said that? Hold on a second. I want to try something. Hydroponics. Marijuana. Okay, what's going on? What? What? No. Jesus, man. I swear. Sometimes I feel like Amazon's watching. Okay. Uh, let's do... Let's see. What else do we need for this? We needed, um, we need hydrochloric acid, which we need salt deposit for. Hey, I know where we can get some salt. About damn time. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we're gonna make the hydrochloric acid. And then we need this in gold, I think. Yeah, this is all brand new stuff for me. I don't think I've ever made this stuff in any of my previous playthroughs. I never made it this far, because we didn't have a reason to. There was no, like, end game, and the alien stuff didn't work, so... I, I've seen all this stuff before, but I've never had a reason to build it. Now here we are. Boom! Perfect. Okay, so let's go take a look at these two different things we want to build. I think we have all the components now. Palme, that's rude. Hmm. There we go. Alright, so we're going to take the two storage modules, for now, and we're going to put in the solar charger. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's right. We're storing our weapon in there. Alright, there's the solar charger, which is awesome. And this perimeter defense system, I wonder how we use this. This is going to be interesting. Alright, we'll get our propulsion gun out of there. Oh, by the way, chat, I didn't I didn't tell you guys this. So last night, I actually played this a little bit. Um, and all I did was collect some copper, which you saw, because we were pretty much out of copper. And I also collected a lot of glass. You can see we have a bunch of glass in here. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because something interesting happened last night. I think I actually collected all the quartz from our scanning room. So... What essentially happened was my scanner was actually no longer showing any quartz in the region. None. Zero hits. And I actually went back and like scanned for something else just to confirm my scanner wasn't bugged. So what that means, and one of the reasons I'm saying this, is if I go over there right now and we scan for quartz and we find some, that 100% confirms that it respawns. Um, I actually, one of the reasons I harvested all the quartz was because I want to know for certain if things are respawning or not. So let's go check. Just to be clear, not only did I scan for quartz, but I left the scanner on for 30 minutes to make sure that it was, uh, that it was working. Yep. There is no question that that quartz has respawned. There is absolutely no question that that's respawned. So it may be slow. It may take a long time. But quartz, at least, 100% confirm, respawns. There you go. Now you've seen it live. Can confirm, quartz respawns. Awesome. And slow is fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that dog bit me says slow is fine. Slow is actually great because it encourages you to go away from your base if you really need something, but you know that eventually it will show up near your base. So that's, I, that is totally fine with me. 
I, I slow respawn is just fine. You don't want it to be too fast, because then it kind of invalidates, you know, a lot of things. But at the same time, having no respawn also can really suck. So I, I like this. I think it's good. Okay, so now we're going over to get the nuclear fragment. Let's go ahead. We're going to take the seam off. We are leaving the lights on here at 94% as a test. So, in fact, you know what? Let's check this right now, too, before we leave. Is this still at 94%? We're doing all the science today, chat. All of it. Yeah, it's still at 94. All right, so we're going to leave it here at 94 again. We're going to leave it right here. And we're going to go do stuff in the Seamoth. And again, we're leaving the lights on to make sure that's working properly. Are batteries charging? No. There are four batteries. Oh, 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 I forgot to build the charger here. Uh, let's do that before we go. Thank you for reminding me. Let's do that before we go. I don't even know what this charger takes. Um. Ah. Oh. Okay. Um, advanced wiring kit, two rubies, and two titanium. These are a little bit more expensive than I was hoping. And again, these are wiring kits, gold, and computer chip. So we're going to need... We're going to need two wiring kits, four gold, and the computer chip. And each computer chip is going to take one copper wire, one gold apiece, and two table coral apiece. Okay. set them up, I think, right here. Actually, right... Okay. We're going to be using these power cells mostly to recharge vehicles. Um, I want to put them in a place that's... I gotta test this a little bit, because I don't want this to become annoying. So if I do this... Go up. Go ahead and dock. Do I have to go deep? There we go. Okay. Right when I jump out, I pop up right here. I go like this. So if I put these here, are they going to be too much in the way? Let's find out. We'll put one up here. We can always break these down if we need to. Why not in the Cyclops? Because now, if you put these in the Cyclops, um, they will actually drain power from the Cyclops. So apparently it's cyclical now in the Cyclops. You can't actually charge batteries in the Cyclops. Um, it's a one-to-one -one efficiency modifier. So, yeah, okay. So let's just do this real quick. I just want to make absolutely sure this isn't going to mess with us at all. All systems online. Okay, yeah, that'll be just fine. All right, great. Great. All right, now we got to run over here. Are we still at 94? Yep, looking good. We're gonna pop into here. Mm -mm -mm. And we don't have another battery at like 0%, do we? 100, 186. 100, 176, that's ah, fine. Actually, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. Can I take this? Yes, okay. So, let's look at the new Okay, that's awkward. I see what they're doing. They're telling you the remaining percentage, 
of how many power cells you have left. And since we took out a lower percentage power cell, the average of loss is less with all six than it is with five. But this number should definitely function always off max power, which is six. So that should be significantly less than 98. That's a little weird. That's a little weird. It's not, it's not, it's not including the fact that it's, it's missing a power cell. So that's a little weird. <laughs> what is capacity? Capacity is six power cells, but we have five in there now and it's acting off five of five instead of five of six. So it's completely skewed that little number. Uh, it's it's a very minor thing. If anything, that's a display issue. And and you know what? For all I know, maybe they want it to look like that. Maybe there's something I'm not thinking of or don't know that makes it so they, they like it like that. I don't know. Alright, now these are definitely going to be good in here. Because now they're going off the base power. And the base power has two thermal generators and a bio generator hooked up to it. So we shouldn't have any issue. In fact, speaking of that real quick, let's do a quick check. We need two more in there. Let's go into our power. This is our power pool. Eventually, we're going to have a nuclear reactor. In fact, that's where we're going right now. But not yet. There we go. And what we'll probably do is add a third or a fourth, I guess, on top of this. And then have a ladder going from here up to the fourth. And then we'll put the nuclear reactor up there. Yeah. It's going to be slick. Okay. Let's get this out. Get some coffee. One second, guys. This part's kind of important. You can see it filling up there. Ah, there we go. So good, man. So good. Okay. Um, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Okay, good. Let's go get this nuclear, uh, this nuclear thing. All right, so how do I use this zappy zap? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> I can work with that. All right, so where am I going again? That one. Yeah, that's right. Hey, what's up, buddy? <gasps> Rude. <laughs> Wait, are these? The deuce? That's a, that's one of those rock things. What's that doing out there? <laughs> oh well. Where am I going again? Oh shit, that's where I'm going. Sorry. Oh, you can hold it down? Uh, I don't wanna do that because I think it'll take a lot of power, but that's cool to know, thank you. That's sonar, by the way, and sonar is incredible. It really helps when you're like looking for entrance into caves and like that, for instance. See, just ping that right there. Yeah. All right, so the goal down here is to find the nuclear reactor. Then we're gonna go back to base. We're gonna craft the nuclear reactor. We're gonna get everything set up there. And then we're gonna take the Cyclops to go get our next tier of resources, which should be a lot of fun. Okay, so the way that this works, from what I understand, is whenever you play this game, it distributes the components around these bases. So theoretically, somewhere around this base, there should be a little component that I probably missed that will finish our nuclear thing. However, I'm not seeing anything. Shut up. Get out of here. I'm busy. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we got part of one here yesterday. I think we did too. Although there, there are multiple locations that we can go to. So, um. 
Is that a peeper? Wait, what is that? An oculus? What? What are you? Can I capture you? Oh hell yeah! You're going to my you're going to my thing, dude. What's the difference between an oculus and a peeper? Genetic similarities with the common peeper. While the shallows of the cave system are separated by just a few meters of rock, foodstuffs, and threats in each biome are completely different. It is possible a small school of peepers will once cut off from the caves and the oculus species is how they adapted. Highly developed night vision, lack of beak, unlike the beaker, and separated tail fin. Interesting. How cool. Okay, that's great. I love that little stuff. I'm kind of a science nerd at the end of the day, so I, <laughs> I actually really love how much care and uh, and just creativity they put into the animals in this game. It's so cool reading about that stuff. All right, I don't think it's going to be in there. So there is another location we can explore here, though. Uh, wait, did I get a scan in there? No. No, I must have been seeing things. Okay. Um, yes, there are multiple debris fields down here, exactly. So we're going to go see if we can find another one. There is this right up here, this platform. I looked around here and didn't see anything last time. Yeah, this one, this one's pretty empty. Don't see any parts around here. Okay, that one is pretty clear. Alright. There's, I think, another platform. Let's see if we can find that. Okay, nothing back here. Hmm. Wait. No, damn. Yeah, it goes on. There's here's the other one. Wait, no, is that the actual base or is this the platform? That's the base. I should probably mark that. That's the base. That's the platform. What about over here? Yeah, okay, let's look over here. If you don't find it here, southwest of Life Pod Five, you can find those sea traders. Wrecks in that area have fragments too. Okay. Okay, thank you. We'll just take a quick look in here. And if we don't see it in an initial sweep, we'll go to Life Pod 5 and uh, look from there. Thank you. Here is another platform. But if I'm not mistaken, this one also is pretty empty. Yeah, not even an open box to scan there. Okay. Um, oh, there's thermal. Now, what is that? Oh, is that magnetite? Yeah, okay, cool. I think that's the first time we've seen that in ore form. Am I gonna get hurt down here? Yeah, you can see that the degrees just spiked up. Mm, okay, let's not go too deep in here. I would really hate to lose this sea moth. We're gonna try to go through it though. I'm gonna keep poking around. See if there's anything up here on this ledge. No. Let's move over here. Do a quick scan here. Hmm. Nothing too artificial looking. Sorry, Peeper. Don't know what that floating rock is. Wow, there's like nothing man-made here. How one of those little guys get down here? Nope. Okay. Let's... I may have just gotten unlucky. 
with the, uh, like every so often, I don't think you, you get all of the potential parts of a resource. So we may have just gotten unlucky. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and start heading over to Life Pod 5. And we'll look on that side. Thankfully, the sea moth moving around like this is really quick, so. Is that our way out? It might be. Let's take a look. Yeah, nice. Okay. Sorry. Okay, Life Pod 5. Let's take a look. There's, what, 17? Yeah, 17's right there. By the way, is this called the Blood Kelp? No, this is Grassy Plateau. Blood Kelp has the, the red stuff in it, right? Yeah. Oh, really, John Limitless? John Limitless says, don't take your prawn down there without the jetpack. I'm currently building myself out of that area. John Limitless, tell me something, man. I'm pretty sure that you can use the grappling hook to get out of almost anywhere. Um, have you tried using the grappling hook yet? You may be able to actually make the grappling arm, bring it down there, or you could bring a cyclops down there, potentially. Um, okay, anyway, back to what I was doing. We're going to life pod five. Oh. Do I not have a spot for life pod five? Shoot. Is life pod five my life pod? Am I life pod five? I'm five. Oh great, okay. So what was it again um, that, that people told me from life pod five? It was like 500 meters. What was it? Southwest? Does anyone remember? Southwest, 500 meters Southwest. Okay, great. Oh, well, that's kind of the direction we're So here it is, 500 meters. Oh, it's a thousand meters to the Southwest. Okay. Am I building a nuclear reactor? I am working towards getting a nuclear reactor. Yes. I have two of three components and uh, we're looking for the last ones now, the last component. And then we're gonna go build the nuclear plant and then we're gonna go down to the disease facility, the alien disease facility and mine around there and get more stuff. All right, so we're doing it now. We're heading there, heading in. Oh, that's right. If I'm near the surface, then our batteries recharge. That's awesome. Yeah, Rastaman, I was just thinking that, dude. I was just thinking that. It, it's pretty awesome, to be honest. Okay, we're entering the sparse reef. going on down here, huh? It's almost like it's some kind of sparse reef. Whoa. Okay, so this is the This is a different biome. This is the Grand Reef. Okay. Okay. Oh, and there's one of those big walker things. Those are creepy, dude. I never saw those in my last game. Oh, you want to play this game, huh? You want to play this game? I'll play your game. Zap. That's right. Yeah, you better run, jerk. All right. Sorry, I had a moment there. Man, those are creepy. That's so cool. Okay. Hmm. Oh, don't you pet a me. Those are those are warpers. You, you, th th there's no pet a moment there. You phonies. All right, what is this over here? Ooh. Ooh. Hi, friendo.
thermal reactor module? Okay. That sounds fun. We can work with that. Another one down here? Dude, this wreck is fire. This wreck is fire. Oh, decoach you. We already have that one. That's okay. Still good. Still good. Uh, scanner room fragment. Not quite what we need. Um, let's check out this wreck. Alright, we're not going in that way. Oh, we're going in this way. Hell yeah. No. Surveillance law. We'll look at that later. Gotta get the blue hat. Super important. Scannable object. Quilted double bed! Oh, be still my heart. Oh my god, we're totally making those when we get back. Um, we already got the grappling arm. Don't need to worry about that. Seek fluid intake. Oh, we're good on that. Hmm. Okay, that's it for this side. Um, I'm a. I'm assuming there's more in this wreck because that really wasn't a lot, to be honest. Also, I just realized that I'm not in my Cyclops. Vital signs. Which means we got to be a little bit cognitive of food and water. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Hmm. Let's see what we got. No, the the there's three types, there's four types of doors. There's a green light, which is openable. There is a red light, which means nothing. There's nothing you can do to a door with a red light on it. There is melted door, which is what this is, and those can be laser cut. And then there is repairable door, which is a door with a repair panel directly to the left of it. As far as I know, those are the only four types of doors. So, um, if it's not, if, if you just see like a red light and nothing around it, there's nothing you can do to open that door. There's also doors with codes next to them. Uh, key codes, but that's about it. Yeah. But yeah, unless the front of it is damaged and melted like this, or there's a repair panel to the left of it, there's nothing you can do to open those doors. That's just the way of the game. Ooh. Nice. Another one we already have, but hey, that's fine. We're, we'll, we'll collect all of them. Oh, please be food. Hey, perfect! Awesome. All right, we got another place we can go in here. This door would actually be red from the other side. That's another example of a door that can't be used. Um, all right, can we do anything in here? Man, another laser door? I don't think I've ever seen a, a wreck with three laser doors in it. Let's see what's in it. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, hell, even the main ship, I think, only had two or three. The actual Adam. Thank you, man. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. Appreciate it, bud. Big thank you to everyone who's watching. You have I'm Playing games like this for you guys is one of the most fun things that I do on Twitch. So I, I really do appreciate it when you guys... Uh, have fun watching too. Mm. All right, we need we need to think about leaving here. Wait, really? That's it? The only thing in here is the drill suit fragment. This can't be right. Because we passed like three of these coming in. There has to be something else in here. Can I do anything to this? No. I gotta go. My oxygen's getting a little bit low. I can't open that door. There's nothing I can do about that. How weird. Yeah, not a damn thing in here, but those arms. 
Nothing there. Nothing there. Hmm. Weird. I, I would have thought there would have been something much better in there with all the work that it took to get in there. Oh well. 30 seconds. Oh, oh, the drill frack. Okay. Welp. Uh, not quite what we needed, but, you know, it's fine. We'll keep going to where we're heading, which is to the southwest. How are we doing on power? 94? Let's go to the, the surface real quick and uh, get our power back all the way up. Oh, I missed another door? Okay. Okay. Hold on. Thank you. Apparently I missed a door. And we will get that door. Oh, thank you, man. I, I appreciate that. Revan. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't go to the lava area there yet. So, we still need to go to the, to the lava area. There goes our power. Nice. Awesome, awesome. Good God. We have all the subs today. Oh my lord, you guys are killing it. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Alright, we're going right back down. And let's make sure we go into that green door, just in case. There's probably just going to be more arms and stuff in it, but you know, whatever. we got to check this stuff. is so deep. <laughs> of course, now I'm never going to find that wreck again. Oh, wait, it's right there. Oh, we lucked out, didn't we? Alright, so there's one more door chat is telling me. Assuming it was that one, right, chat? That I just so easily missed. Oh, we could have scanned that. So that would have been nice. That door's not opening. And that door's not opening. Okay. Uh, Terrigan would like their resub message read. Absolutely, Terrigan. Give me one second, bud. Do, do, do. Getting close to four years now and worth every minute. Can't wait to play Pantheon with the community. Terrigan, thank you for your 44 months, dude. I really do appreciate it, man. And Pantheon is going to be a lot of fun, brother. It is going to be a lot of fun. Thank you very much, man. That's a lot of support, dude. Really appreciate it. By the way, guys, good time to mention. Um, as you guys know and can probably pretty clearly see, we have an incredibly supportive support community here supportive support community we have a lot of subs a lot of resubs a lot of cheers a lot of tips um based on feedback from the community i i don't generally call out subs tips and cheers as they come in that lets me focus on the game a little bit more i actually have really bad add so if i'm constantly shouting out subs tips and cheers the show can get a little bit broken up not that it isn't enough already um but what that means is that a lot of times people may sub tip or cheer and then they may have to leave the stream without me calling them out. I wanted to make sure everyone knows, if you sub tip or cheer and you have to leave before I acknowledge your support, please feel free to let a mod know. I, just like I did with Terrigan, I will gladly read out your sub tip or cheer before you have to go. Um, don't ever think that I'm ignoring that stuff. Actually, at the end of every stream, I read out every name. It usually takes anywhere between three and 10 minutes, um, but we do, also go the wrong way. As you can see how easily distracted I get. Um, but yeah. Point is, huge thank you for the support. I couldn't do this without you guys. Uh, and if you would like any of your messages read, just let a mod know. And, um, and I will do that. And a big thank you. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate being able to not only play this game for you guys, but more importantly, focus on playing the game for you guys. Um, it lets me deliver a more cogent show. Uh, it lets me deliver more gameplay. So, thank you. It was a very, 
difficult decision to go to this system. Um, I've been on it now for coming up coming up close to a half a year now. And um, if it wasn't for the, the subs, resubs, tippers, and cheers, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you. Oh! What is going on right now? Go up. 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 I don't want to look down because I don't think it's going to be something I want to see. <laughs> no, thanks. Okay. Um. Holy shit. Huh. Oh. Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! Into the cave! Okay. Um. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, so. I think I went a little too far to the southwest. Um. Do not go out of the crater's edge is a, is a good way to say that, too. Um, jeez, man. But wait a second. I'm pretty sure I just kept heading to the southwest. Did I miss the zone I was supposed to go to? Uh... Unfortunately, now I have no idea where to go. Hmm. 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 I forgot to scan the monster? Oh, well, we better go back then. <laughs> Jerk. Do I have to go deeper? Maybe that's the issue. Damn, look at this down here. How pretty. Oh, we're in a cave now. Whoa. 